What are the keys to managing heart failure? To help our patients remember them, we frequently refer to MODS. MODS is an acronym that stands for medications, activity, weight, diet, and symptoms. In MODS, M is for medications. Medications are a key treatment for heart failure. They reduce the burden on your heart, strengthen your heart, ease your symptoms, and have a big impact on your quality of life. But you need to take them faithfully as instructed. One of the most common reasons people with heart failure are hospitalized is that they didn't take their medications properly. It's important for you to take your medications as prescribed every day. Missing doses or taking too much of a medication can actually have some serious consequences. What should I do if I forget a dose? If it's the next day and you realized you miss a dose, don't double up on taking your medications. Just get back on your regular schedule. So that you remember to take your medications, you can use something like a pill box or keep your medications by your toothbrush at night so you remember to take them when you brush your teeth at night. Those kinds of easy reminders can help you get into a regular schedule so you take your medications appropriately. I also do take uh, supplemental herbs from a local drugstore. Can I keep taking them? It really depends. Let's go through that list and see if it's safe. There are some herbal or over-the-counter medications that may be safe with taking heart failure or prescription medications, but others may not be safe. So we really want to make sure that there's, there's no interaction with the medications that you're taking for your heart condition. It helps to keep a current medication list if you're on several meds, and if you see a new doctor, the information will be quite useful. Be sure to include any herbal supplements, vitamins, or other over-the-counter drugs you take regularly. If you use an Intermountain Pharmacy, you can ask for a med card you can keep in your wallet. You might have some side effects with heart failure medications, or you might notice something new, like a minor cough or a headache, and not know whether it's a side effect or something else. If that happens, call your health care provider and let them know what's going on. If it's a side effect, most often your health care provider can adjust or change your medication to solve the problem. One more tip. Avoid running out of medications. If you run out for a few days and stop suddenly, you could have a sudden change in your symptoms. Try to call the pharmacy or your healthcare provider for a refill when you've got a week's supply left. I worried about affording the pills, but found a pharmacy that does prescriptions for $4 a month. That helps a lot. And I keep my pill organizer by my toothbrush, so I remember to take my pills every night. I would say just find the right reminder for you, something you do every day. The A in MODS stands for Regular Physical Activity. If you've been diagnosed with heart failure, you might wonder if exercise is dangerous for your heart. The answer is no, within reason. Regular activity can increase your energy. With even a little exercise, you'll find that you feel better with more strength, endurance, and energy. The key is to exercise wisely. Be sure to check with your doctor before you start any new exercise program. Especially with heart failure, you should start slowly and gradually build up your exercise time and intensity. As you exercise, make sure you monitor how much you're doing. You'll have good and bad days. So know your limits. Your body is a really good judge of whether you're overdoing it, if you pay attention to the signals. Here's what to watch for as you exercise. Notice if you have shortness of breath that's worse than usual for your level of activity. Notice if you feel lightheaded or dizzy. And notice if you have tightness in your chest or pain that radiates into your jaw or into your arm or back. Any of these can be signs that you're overdoing it. If any of them happen, stop exercising and consider calling right away to let your doctor know what's going on. People sometimes ask me what the best exercise is, but there's no one right answer for everyone. The best exercise is something you know you enjoy. And if you like something, you're going to wake up every day and you're going to want to do it. And walking is something I recommend a lot. Walking is a great choice. Everyone knows how to walk. It's enjoyable and you can start with just a little bit and build up. Here are some tips for making a daily walk part of your routine. Walk with a partner or take the dog for a walk. Protect yourself from the weather. In the summer, walk in the morning or evening. In the winter, find a gym or another safe place to walk, like the mall. My nurse gave me a good trick to make sure I'm going at the right pace. You should be able to say a sentence without having to stop to catch your breath. But you shouldn't be able to sing a whole song without stopping for breath. So my daughter and I talk on our walks, and she notices if I need to slow down a little bit. We get to catch up with each other, but we don't sing too much. The W in MODS stands for checking your weight every day. 
Every morning when you wake up, you can take one of the most important steps in controlling your heart failure, stepping on the scale. Extra fluid buildup from heart failure shows up on the scale as extra weight, often before other symptoms develop. By weighing yourself daily and keeping a record, you can see if your heart failure is under control. Try to weigh yourself at about the same time each morning, after you've urinated, but before eating or drinking. Use your heart failure self-care diary to record your weight each day. And if your health care provider has asked you to check your heart rate or blood pressure every day, you can use the diary to record those too. Call your doctor if you gain two or more pounds in one day, or if you gradually gain five pounds over your target weight, your regular weight when you're not retaining fluid. Talk to your health care provider to determine a good target weight for you. If you lose a lot of weight, especially if it's sudden, you should tell your health care provider about that as well. Get immediate medical help if you gain five pounds in a single day. It took a little while to get in the habit, but now it's automatic. I wake up, I use the bathroom, step on the scale, and write my weight down. Then I check to see it's okay. It just takes a minute, and I do it without thinking. The D in MODS stands for a diet that helps your heart by limiting sodium and fluids. Sodium, or salt, causes your body to retain extra fluid. Try to limit your sodium to 2,000 milligrams a day. Now this will require more than just throwing the salt shaker out. The real trick is avoiding all the sodium added to common food items. Sodium can hide in a lot of places. To avoid buying high sodium foods, it can help to focus on fresh foods like fruits, vegetables, or dairy. While some foods from the departments around the edge of the grocery store have sodium added, they're often lower in sodium than the packaged products on the shelves in the middle of the store. In general, the fewer packaged convenience foods you buy, the less sodium you'll eat. When you do buy packaged, pre-cooked items, read the food label. Make sure the sodium content for each serving is under 250 milligrams. Carefully check the labels of food marked light or low fat. Many low fat foods have a lot of sodium. Look for unsalted, no salt added, or low sodium versions of your favorite foods. You'll be surprised by how many you can find. And when you buy canned vegetables or beans, rinsing them can lower the sodium. Here are some high sodium products to avoid. Processed meats like hot dogs and salami, soy sauce and seasoning packets, salted butter or margarine, cheese, and of course, don't eat snacks with salt in them like potato chips or pretzels. There are plenty of ways to enhance flavor without using salt. For example, use dill, lemon, pepper, onion, or an herb blend, and use garlic powder instead of garlic salt and salt substitutes are another alternative. You can eat out, just make a few changes in how you order. Ask for condiments like salad dressing on the side, so you can add just a little instead of a lot. You can also tell your server that you're on a low salt diet. The kitchen may be able to cook your entree with less salt or no salt. I realized I had to cut out the drive through just way too much salt. So I don't eat burgers as much as I used to, but now when I do, I just make one at home with garlic and onion instead of the salt, and lots and lots of lettuce and tomato. I actually make a really good burger. Oh man, I used to love salt on everything. But after a while, your taste buds change. Now I taste saltiness in food, even if there's no salt on it. And some foods I used to like, they actually taste way too salty for me now. Drinking less fluid is another way to reduce the extra fluid in your body. Try to limit all fluids to less than two quarts a day. Foods with a lot of fluid like soup, watermelon, and ice cream count in that total. Use the Heart Failure Fluid Tracker to help you record your daily fluids for a few weeks. This will help you get a good feel for how much fluid you can have throughout the day. Remember that if you feel thirsty, it doesn't mean your body actually needs more fluid. Thirst is part of the syndrome and may be partly related to some of the medications used to treat heart failure. It is important to try to resist the temptation to drink more fluid than you should. Some strategies include chew gum, suck on hard candy, have a small sip of fluid, or just rinse your mouth with water. I fill up a small eight ounce water bottle in the morning and I use it for little sips through the day. That helps me keep track of what I'm drinking between meals. Finally, S and MODS stands for symptoms. Your heart failure action plan helps you keep track of symptoms using three colors, green, yellow, and red. We hope you stay in the green zone where everything is stable. That means just continue what you're doing and following MODS. Yellow is the caution zone. If you have symptoms in this zone, you should call to see if your treatment plan needs to change. These symptoms include shortness of breath that's getting worse, trouble breathing at night, or noticeable swelling or bloating. Also call if you feel dizzy or lightheaded. 
if your weight goes up two pounds overnight or if you gain five pounds in a week. The red zone is the emergency zone. If you have symptoms in this zone, you should get immediate help. Go to the emergency room or call 911 if you feel breathless or extremely short of breath, your chest feels heavy while you're resting, you're coughing up pink, frothy mucus, you've passed out, or if you gain five pounds in one day. Remember, MOZ is the key to a successful partnership with your healthcare team. Take your medications as prescribed. Stay as active as you can. Weigh yourself daily and know when to call with weight changes. Follow a diet that limits salt and fluids. And know what symptoms to watch for and call your providers early if problems arise. There are a few other healthy choices you can make to protect your heart. If you smoke, stop. This is one of the most important changes you can make for your general health. If you drink alcohol, you should follow general recommendations. Women should limit their intake to one serving of alcohol per day, and men should have no more than two servings per day. If your heart failure was caused by excessive alcohol use, it's important to stop drinking altogether. Finally, get a pneumonia vaccine if you haven't had one and get a flu shot every year. This will protect you from lung infections. Heart failure patients who manage their health do much better. They have fewer symptoms, they can do more in their life. They don't have to come back to the hospital. I love seeing someone begin to feel better when they start using mods. Following the program is so worth it. You can feel better and have more energy. Just enjoy life more. It's really helped me.